In the summertime, especially, you know, oftentimes when the schools are not being as heavily populated as, as in the summer, we're producing excess energy in, in a lot of these buildings and it's being sold back to the, uh, to the utility at the same, the same rate that they're charging us. I'm Ian Brown, uh, I work for the Seattle Public Schools. I'm one of three resource conservation specialists in the district. We're here because Arbor Heights is one of six schools that has a large photovoltaic solar array on it that produces electricity. And it was part of a, a single project for six schools and we have a total capacity of about 795 kilowatts spread out of six schools. So each school has a little over 100 kilowatt solar arrays. Between the, the six sites, uh, they produce enough, enough electricity to power, you know, maybe 40 to 70 homes a year in, in the Seattle area for comparison. First thing that happens is all that electricity is gathered with the wires up on the roof and they go to something called an inverter. And the inverter takes the uh, voltage in direct current and transforms it into alternating current. Then that gets sent on, along the wires as well through a Seattle City Light production meter. So Seattle City Light can figure out how much energy we're producing. So when the solar energy is being produced, the building can use it immediately if it's needed. If the panels are producing excess power that the building is use, using, it gets sold back and pushed back into the utility grid of Seattle City Light. All new buildings are being built to be solar ready. There's not necessarily capacity in the budgets for the new buildings to, to have solar. But again, this was, a, this was a large project involving the six schools and it cost about $2 million total project. We got a $500,000 grant from the, the Washington Department of Commerce and we got another $150,000 uh, incentive from Seattle City Light. It's the largest solar array that we have in K-12 schools in Washington State. We're also the largest district in Washington State as well. All of our new schools are all electric and that's really important for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And if they're all electric, adding the solar panels to them just helps. Our ideal would be to get for every building to be net zero. That means every building produces as much energy as it uses. That's, that's a large goal and it's kind of hard to get to, but that's what we aspire to. Uh, anything we can do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is great. Thank you.